federal courts can grant habeas corpus relief to defendants convicted in state courts if the conviction violates the United States Constitution. But what if a defendant fails to argue his constitutional claim in state court first, as required by state law? The United States Supreme Court addressed this issue in Wainwright v. Sykes. John Sykes was arrested for murder. After police read him his Miranda rights, he waived his right to remain silent and made incriminating statements. Sykes's attorney never challenged the admission of Sykes's statements at trial, even though Sykes was so intoxicated that he might not have understood the Miranda warning. Sykes was convicted in Florida State Court and appealed. After losing his direct appeal, Sykes filed a state petition for habeas corpus, where he challenged the admission of his statements for the first time. After losing his state habeas corpus case, Sykes then sought habeas corpus in federal court. The district court granted Sykes his petition. It held that Sykes hadn't lost his right to challenge the admission of his statements by failing to object at trial, as required by Florida's Rules of Criminal Procedure. The Fifth Circuit affirmed, and the Supreme Court granted cert.